if you're looking at buying a home in the next couple months and using a conventional loan, interest rates are about to get really weird. All right, so there's gonna be a new change to interest rates coming up in May 1st. So this change is likely going to end up taking effect a couple months before that, somewhere in the March, April uh, range. So what's ending up happening here is conventional loans have this thing called loan level price adjustments. And this is something that you as a home buyer will usually never see or interact with, but this is what impacts your interest rate. So on here, these numbers do not reflect the interest rate. They're what's called an adjustment. Basically for about every 0.5% uh, change in adjustment is about a 0.25% change in interest rate. So conventional loans, uh, the interest rates are based off of uh, your down payment and your credit score uh, primarily. That's what is the like risk of the loan. Okay, so the theoretically, the more money you put down, the higher credit score you have, the less risky your loan is. So what's changing coming in May is uh, you can see here in the red, this is where rates are going to start increasing for people. And in the green, this is where they're going to start decreasing. So there's this change that's kind of going that people are not super happy about. Um, because what's happening is you can see someone who's putting 20% down an 80% loan to value ratio with a 720 score is going to have a higher interest rate. Uh, that change is now going to be made compared to what the interest rate would have been now. Okay, so in May, interest rates are going to increase than for someone who puts 20% down with a 720 credit score. Same thing with a 740 credit score. Compared to somebody who's putting 5% down and has a 640 credit score, interest rates are actually going to get lower here in May. And so there's a lot of people who are not very happy with this at all. In fact, uh, here's a quote from an article where it says, some loan officers describe it as robbing Peter to pay Paul. Lower risk borrowers with a high credit scores and larger down payments are now going to be penalized and essentially forced to subsidize borrowers who haven't saved money and are actually much higher risk. Um, how on earth is it fair? A buyer who diligently saves to make homeownership possible will now be forced to compensate for the buyer who blows his paycheck and doesn't save more than the bare minimum necessary. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but I, I get the point they're saying. Um, buyers should be re rewarded for the responsible financial behavior, not harmed by it. Okay, and I do want to address this, um, what this change looks like and some solutions to it as well. Okay, so really quickly, I wanted to show you some of the differences here. I made this really quick chart um, just to illustrate uh, what these changes actually look like. So these are the old loan level price adjustments or the ones that are current today. And this is what the new one is going to be in uh, May 1st, okay? So what's ending up happening here is you can see in the red, basically people who were more, who had a higher interest rate were people who had lower credit scores and were putting less money down. And you can see that's actually lightened up a little bit um, where now uh, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac on all conventional loans are favoring people who are putting, uh, have higher credit scores, but primarily have higher down payments in here, okay? And so what I'm going to do is actually help you with a strategy in a future video called rate hacking. And in this, what you can do actually is if you were looking at doing 20% down, for instance, okay, maybe uh, you had a 700 credit score. Instead of being charged the 1.375% in adjustment, we can actually do 3% down to lower the interest rate. And then you can put the other 17% on the first payment. And I'll help walk you through um, that strategy in a future video. I just want to communicate these changes um, that are happening here. Um, another change uh, that's being made as well is that uh, if we actually go into uh, the loan level price adjustment chart, this is the back end for interest rate pricing. Um, there's also going to be adjustments added to different scenarios. And again, remember these ad adjustments then affect the interest rate. Roughly, 0.5% adjustment changes the interest rate by about 0.25%. So for instance, if you have a debt to income ratio above 40%, you're going to see a hit to your interest rate because of that based on your down payment. And this is going to affect uh, when you're shopping for a loan because most of the time uh, a lender doesn't know what your debt to income ratio is when they quote you a rate because it didn't matter before. Now, once this change goes into effect, it's very likely um, that you'll have to submit a full application to a lender to be able to get an actually uh, accurate quote from a lender. Um, and here's uh, a loan officer who said, it'll be nearly impossible to quote an accurate rate 
unless your borrower has completed a full application and their numbers have been run on a specific property. He said this will also make it difficult for consumers to shop for a rate as the rates they see online will typically be for borrowers that fit the cookie cutter financing box, which many borrowers rarely meet. Okay, so just a quick recap here. Again, these are the adjustments here that do impact your interest rate. Um, and so it's just important to be mindful of some of these changes that are going to come. Um, again, the change is technically happening in the beginning of May, but it's likely we'll see lenders starting to implement these uh, closer to around March or April. Um, so a couple changes here as well is there's a 70% down category uh, that was added, which is very interesting. Also, two new credit score brackets have been added. It used to be that the top of the chart um, on loan level price adjustments was 740. This used to be the top of the chart. If we go back to the previous chart, uh, C740 was the top. Now, what got added is there's now a 760 bracket and a 780 bracket. So basically 780 is the top of the chart. If you have an 800 score, you're not going to get a better interest rate. Um, but by looking through this chart, you'll be able to start to see, okay, maybe if I have a 780 credit score, I can actually find the down payment that has the lowest loan level price adjustment and see if that's a better down payment strategy. And then I can put the remainder of my down payment on the first payment to lock in that lower interest rate, but still put the same amount of money uh, effectively down, okay? Um, also, they removed the 20% down trick. There used to be this trick where you could put 19.9% down, get a lower interest rate than 20% down. So you do 19.9% down, and put the remainder 0.1% down on the first payment to get you to 20% to remove the PMI, but you still locked in a lower interest rate that doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately. Overall though, fees are lower from a 3.5% adjustment peak down to a 2.875% adjustment peak. Um, also, there is that debt to income ratio adjustment in there as well. So mortgage shopping is going to get strange. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of misleading uh, interest rates online because people are going to just immediately show you a rate that doesn't have a debt to income ratio adjustment on it. Um, and it's going to look like to get the best, most accurate rate, you're going to have to apply with a lender to actually make sure you're getting a correct rate. Not to mention, there's also adjustments on if you're getting adjustable rate mortgage, you're going to have a higher interest rate. If you're putting, um, let's see, less than 15% down. So anywhere you know, 90 to 95 uh, LTV, which is going to be 5 to 10% down. Um, if you're looking at a condo, you're going to have a higher interest rate. If you're looking at investment property, second home, these changes were already in place, uh, but quite a significantly higher interest rate. If you're an investment or second home, manufactured home, it's going to be slightly higher, two to four unit home, slightly higher, and then high balance fixed rate and arms higher as well. Um, so things are going to get a little strange. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind here, is that there's a waiver to make all this go away. <laughs> okay, there is one thing that you, that you can qualify for that waives every single one of these waivers and will give you a lower interest rate. And it's right here, it's called a loan level price adjustment waiver. Okay, again, only for conventional loans. There's two ways that you can qualify for this waiver. And if you qualify for this waiver, you will not have to worry about any of these adjustments, about DTI, about second homes, um, and uh, you won't have to worry about any of the loan level price adjustments based on a credit score and down payment. So the way that you qualify for those is either with a home ready uh, or home possible loan through Freddie Mac. And the way to do that is to be under 80% of the area median income. Or if you're a first time home buyer with a qualifying income at 100% of the area median income or lower or 120% in a high cost areas. So what we can do is go to Fannie Mae, uh, home ready lookup and it's going to give us a map here we want the area median lookup tool and what you can do is just go to let's say we want to look I don't know right here randomly in Georgia I can see 80% of the area median income would qualify for home ready so if you're under or if you're at $51,000 um, annual income or lower then you'd qualify home ready if that's not the case then if you're under 64,100 uh, and you're a first time home buyer, then you would qualify. If this is a high cost of living area, let's say we're looking at closer to um, somewhere like Nashville. Let me find if I can search this in here. 
uh, see it where it says high cost area, then 120% uh, would allow you to qualify for those loan level price adjustment waivers. I know this can be confusing and complex. Ultimately, this is stuff that you're not really going to see. Uh, this is all happens on the back end, but I just want to share this with you so you're aware of it. Um, and I'm going to be introducing, again, a new strategy uh, that I'm just going to call rate hacking, where we can basically take a look through these charts and figure out how can we get you the best possible rate through these charts. So let's just use the information to your advantage and then show you how you can apply the rest of that money to your first payment. That way you can take advantage of the rate savings and use this the best to your advantage that you possibly can instead of just going with whatever rate you saw in the first place. Okay, my team and I would love to help you. We're licensed in all 50 states. You can go to winthehouseyoulove.com. We do free home loan consults upfront. Um, that way we can answer any questions that you have, walk through your scenario, and then take you through a pre-approval so you can see all your decision-making numbers up front. Again, that's at winthehouseyoulove.com, and we'd love to help.